Good evening and welcome to Revive Worship. We are so glad that you have joined us tonight and we pray that you are well. As a community of believers, we hold fast to God's promise and to the word that we are given in Isaiah 41, 8. It says, But you, O Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let us worship the Lord together and his promise that he is good. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, 
It's so fitting that we are focusing tonight on peace. We are in a chaotic and often turbulent time that can feel crushing. We are consumed in worry and strife, and we need you. We need your Holy Spirit to wrap us all in a warm, very non-socially distanced hug. We need your deep, calm, never-ending peace. We know that in you, there is rest. Peace that we can feel in our soul. That in you, it is well. Amen.
She has one of the most beautiful singing voices this side of the Mississippi. Please welcome to share our message tonight of peace, Christina Schweitz. Hello, Bethel. This evening, we are going to breathe the fruits of the Spirit. But before we do that, I would like to read a few verses from 1 John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. I would like to also pray a prayer that I pray almost every day, written by Father Richard Rohr from the Center for Action and Contemplation in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Please pray with me. O oh, great love, thank you for living and loving in us and through us. May all that we do flow from our deep connection with you and all beings. Help us become a community that vulnerably shares each other's burdens and the weight of each other's glory. Listen to our heart's longings for the healing of our world, knowing you are hearing us better than we are speaking. We offer these prayers in all the holy names of God. Amen. Okay, so you can see I'm sitting here on the floor, which is kind of different, and I'd like to encourage each of you to find a nice, comfortable seating position. It can be on your couch, or it can be on your, the side of your bed, or even on a kitchen chair, or if you want to, get down on the floor. I'm sitting on a bolster, but you could sit on a rolled-up towel, or you could sit on a couch cushion or something like that. So we're going to collectively take a nice deep inhale together as a community, and then we'll take a nice long exhale together. And I will do it to the count of five on the inhale, and then let's exhale to the count of seven, just to kind of settle in. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, hold it, and exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit up tall and think about elongating your spine and keeping a nice maybe a little tilt to your chin. And we're going to use that same kind of breath technique to the count of five, and then exhaling to the count of seven to inhale the fruits of the Spirit. Starting with love, two, three, four, five. Hold love at the top and then exhale, love into the world. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, joy. One, two, three, four, five. Hold joy. 
and then empty out joy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, peace. One, two, three, four, five. Hold peace. And then exhale, peace. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, patience. One, two, three, four, five. Hold your patience. And then exhale. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now inhale kindness. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it at the top, kindness. And then exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, goodness. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it, retain your breath. And then exhale, goodness. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, gentleness. One, two, three, four, five. Retain gentleness. And then exhale, gentleness. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, faithfulness. One, two, three, four, five. And exhale, faithfulness. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, self control. One, two, three, four, five. Retain self control and then empty it. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Just let your breath kind of return to normal. And take a moment and notice how you feel. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more peaceful, depending on how you were feeling before we started. And you can keep your eyes closed or open them. I started breathing the fruits of the spirit last March when my dad passed away. I was grieving and I would wake up at night and I would not be able to fall asleep. I would have a lot of doubts and I was in just a deep sadness, but this really helped me and I was able to find peace, and then fall back asleep. And I just felt that community with God and with all of you. And um, it was, you know, I, I, I continued to grieve. I'm still grieving, but it helped me so much to do this practice of breathing the fruits of the Spirit. And then Megan asked me to sing. She approached me because Bob Phelps had passed away and she asked if I could sing for the funeral. And I had to think about it because I was still grieving my dad and 
Bob, I love Bob too, and I just thought, how am I gonna hold it together to sing for this man's funeral that I really admire? But I'm so glad I did, because when Pastor was giving the homily, it was a very intimate group. It was just his daughters and their immediate family. He was able to share how Bob had doubts and how Bob had come to him with his doubts. And I thought, well, if someone like Bob can have doubts, then it's okay for me to have doubts. I won't get into what all my doubts are, but if a man like Bob can have doubts, then so can I. And then I even furthered my practice of breathing the fruits of the Spirit. So I hope that if this is something you would like to incorporate in your prayer life or just your daily life, I hope it's helpful to you. And when Megan asked me to sing the sing for his funeral, um, we talked about what I should sing, and we both thought that this beautiful, kind of stirring rendition of Beautiful Savior by Nathan Howe would be a good would be a good choice. And Megan had found this this arrangement a while back and she brought it to me and so I wanted to close today by sharing it with you.